What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of the Whiskey Whispers. I'm Kevin. I'm Nick. And tonight, we decided to try something that we've tried before but never reviewed here on our channel. And so we're excited to bring this to you and let you know what we think about it. And uh, so without further ado, tonight we are going to try um, the Bainbridge Battle, Battle Point. Point Whiskey. And uh, we know that we like it. Uh, but a lot. A lot. So don't let that sway you when we give you our uh, final opinion and, and rating. But, uh, you know, one thing that I always tell everybody out there is try it for yourself. See if you like it. Um, because, you know, every whiskey is different. So um, what, do you, what can you tell me about this? This is a local to us spirit because it is distilled on Bainbridge Island off the coast of Washington State. So you may not even be able to find this whiskey where you are located, depending on where you're watching from. Yep. Um, however, I wish this was a national brand that everyone could try because it is so good. It is one of the few that is certified organic. Mm -hmm. um, they have a special stock of wheat that they get this their grains from for distillation. Okay. And, um, it's just very good. They're a very good distillery. They distill other things as well. They have a vanilla vodka, which has a literal whole vanilla bean inside of the bottle. And it's very classy, very elegant, and very tasty. Yeah. So. so, yeah. So one thing I do know about this is that the flavor profile, you're gonna get some vanil vanilla, some toffee, uh, and some caramel in it, just because they use a white oak 10 barrel, uh, number three charred barrel that gives you those flavors. Not to mention the mash that they use uh, and the yeast product that helps with those flavors. So, and it has at the finish, uh, what they say is a salty brininess to it, just because they're right off the coast of Washington. So, um, you know, it's, it's not overpowering. Actually, I don't really taste it very much just because I think I like it too much. It's but, one of the smoothest whiskeys I've ever had ever. Yep. So without further ado, we're gonna crack this open and taste this and tell you what we, we think of it. They've won plenty mm -hmm. of awards um, internationally yep. for this whiskey in particular. And they also have another whiskey that maybe someday if we have the money, we'll get to try as well. Yeah, it's a little spendy. A little spendy. But this one is a double gold winner. Um, and has four world uh, whiskey titles, and also is rated number. Uh, was rated with a 93 out of 100 on the on the tasting index. Was that the Tasting Institute, or do you remember? I think it was the Tasting Institute. Yeah, I knew it was Tasting Index, Tasting Institute. I knew it was one of something like that. I knew it was tasting. So it is the Tasting Institute. I just know you can get different ratings from different sure. places or companies. I recognize the recognize the uh, metal on it. So as you can see from this color, it's got a very nice, crisp uh, caramel color. It's not too dark. You it's can see it's it. not particularly dark, but it's also not particularly transparent either. Right. It's got a nice leg on it. A uh, nice sheen on the glass. Oh yeah, I mean, it's not dropping nope. at all. So, so this is actually really nice and full bodied. Yep. Yeah, I can smell just because it I smells can... like sea air yeah. on the back end. Like, I don't know how you describe that scent, but it just feels like you're if you've ever been in Washington and been on the coast of Washington, that's what it reminds me of. Yep. It's got a it's got an airiness to it, a sea ness to it. Yep. And you can actually definitely pull the 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 nose on it. I can really smell the the toffee and the vanilla right up front on the nose. Vanilla especially, mm -hmm. for sure. I love the smell of it. Yeah, it smells. It's, it's unique. Yeah, it's got a really unique scent. Yep. Yeah, and, and honestly, even comparing this to a Scottish whiskey, you're going to get a different profile just because of where they distill it from, and the Atlantic Ocean and all and all that stuff. The North Seas have a different. Right. Yeah, versus take on, the Pacific. Yeah. yeah. 
which sounds kind of weird because you're like, oh, it's salt water, it should be the same. It really isn't because you have different climates and different areas that they just, you know, they distill it at. Um, and it goes to show the grains used mm -hmm. in distillation, the length of distillation, yep. the type of barrel and how much it's charred or not charred. Yep. Or There's so many factors that go into making whiskey and that's why I really like doing tastings because yeah. they're all, it seems like every bottle really is its own thing. Yeah, know? it's a very unique yeah. experience each time. That's why we recommend you going out and trying the ones that we've tried and maybe and, there's- and try local. Yeah, too, try yeah. local, yeah, buy local. Yeah. Um, the other thing I recommend is if there's something that you have even seen that we haven't tried yet, comment down below because we'd love to hear from you and we'd love to try new things. So if it's something that we have never heard of or we can try to buy it here locally, that'd be fantastic because uh, we're all about the new experiences. So We are willing to reach out to distilleries around the country yep. or wherever to see if they'll maybe provide us with, with something that mm -hmm. we can then pass on to you as far as our tastings and our findings. So. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. All right, let's do All it. Right, cheers. Wow. It's got a heavy mouth feel mm -hmm. without any burn at all. Like yeah. there is no burn. It is so refined. Mm -hmm. I don't know how they do it, but it is so refined. Yeah. And it, and actually, I mean, it has a ton of flavor. Up front, I was picking up apple, a little bit of apple, which sounds weird because I don't think it's even in the, and maybe in the profile of, of the tasting. But I'm definitely getting the, the toffee and the and the vanilla. Mm -hmm. But like you said, there's little to no burn whatsoever. It's very smooth, um, and it's very tasty. The scent is what gets me the most. Mm -hmm. Smelling it as I'm tasting it because it really does. It's like almost seaweed esque in that scent. It's just got a um, that fresh air, mm -hmm. but coastal fresh air ness to it. You know what it reminds yeah. me of? Because for those of you who don't know, that actually uh, both Nick and I are from the Northwest, and I was born and raised in Seattle. I believe Nick, you were in you lived in Seattle. I was, I was, was born, born in Seattle. Yeah. So we're, we're natives, but um, you know this reminds me of being out on the docks in downtown Seattle. Yeah, just on the smelling the sea air you know the piece of sound and that but like in the best way like yeah not in a bad way just right in the, it yeah. just reminds me of of home mm -hmm. which is really sounds weird but it's it's one of those whiskeys that you just brings you right back to where yeah. you were and experiencing like just that that experience of being there um at the water yeah but it's very clean it's very crisp it's robust and yeah it's it's a great great whiskey so and at the very end, I am getting that, picking up that salty sea air kind of feeling like you were talking about. And that's, it's very mild. It's not overpowering like if you were having a very smoky, peaty whiskey or anything. It's like so that. unique because it captures really the essence of where it's from. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then the flavors just meld really well. It doesn't, it doesn't one doesn't overpower the other, I don't think. And it just it, there, there definitely is some toffee in there mm -hmm. that I can pick up and definitely under that, you know, vanilla and, and caramel. I mean, it's yep. like classic whiskey flavor, mm -hmm. but just with its own unique twist on it. Yep. And I really, really like it. Yeah. So that begs the question on one to 10, what would you rate this? I was going to try to be really conservative with mm -hmm. this just because I already knew that I really liked it a lot. Sure. But having tasted it again, compared literally to everything that we've had up until this point, mm -hmm. it's just better in some respects than practically everything else I think we've had. And because of that, I'm gonna have to give it a 9.5 out of 10. Wow. Yeah. Almost a perfect score. Almost a perfect score. Wow. Well, I'm gonna be a little bit more conservative of just course. because that's who I Mr. am. You can yeah. call him Mr. Conservative. Mr. Conservative, yeah. yeah. Because I know there's something always better. However, <laughs> this one is a tough one to beat. Um, I am actually gonna give this one a nine um, out of 10. Still way up there uh, in in the uh, one to 10 range, but you know, I just, I, I it's right there like 9.5, but I'm not gonna be sweet. It's gonna be a nine, <laughs> I'm sticking to it. Um, this is a very, very good whiskey. Regardless, this is the best reviewed whiskey that we've yep. done so far. Absolutely. 
and we highly recommend going out and trying it. I think this was like 70 bucks, maybe 80 bucks for the bottle. It, it was a little more expensive because of Washington taxes, yeah. which if you're from Washington, you know yeah. how bad the liquor taxes are here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it was uh, 60, 65, something like that yeah. before taxes. And then obviously yeah. the 20 whatever percent it is for liquor taxes in Washington. Yeah. Added a lot of cash on there. Um, there are special release versions of this whiskey, which they did slightly different things in, uh, maybe like Japanese oak versus American. Maybe down the road we'll be able to review more of this distillery's um, offerings. Yeah. But um, this Good. is this is the only one that was available locally to us. Yeah. So, um, and I know they actually have a Barbados uh, cask one. Mm -hmm. um, and they have a couple other ones. Yeah, which I be. think was finished in rum casks, which we've done a couple rum casks. Right. And that would be definitely something that I would try. So. The other thing, the last, last thing I've been picking up too after I've done a few sips of this is a little bit of sherry. It's very, very light, um, but it's, it's a hint of it and it's there. I think the vanilla, toffee, and the caramel really overplay that sherry, but it's right. It's, it's kind of behind right yep. right like the, there. like behind the scenes kind of yeah. thing, you know, like, Hey, I'm here, but eh, I'm not the star. So now that, now that you mentioned wine, I think the taste, some of the subtle taste on my tongue that's left over is almost like a wine mm -hmm. flavor. Yeah. So, yeah. And it's not a bad thing. It's actually really subtle, very crisp and very clean. So those are our opinions. We'd love to hear from you. So make sure you drop a comment down below like and subscribe to our channel and uh that's going to do it for the rest of uh this episode so uh drink responsibly and we'll see you on the next time on the whiskey whispers take care cheers so good i love it dude